Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so last week I done a video on 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was the Film Vault edition. And in that video I said that I was hoping to get my hands on Apollo 13 at the end of the week. It did finally come through the door. As a matter of fact, I have it in my hands right now. And uh, looking forward to taking us around this one and showing you everything that's inside it. It is a beautiful release. But unfortunately, as soon as the video is over, I'm going to have to return it because, surprise, surprise, there is damage to it. And of course, it's where the crystal is again. Oh, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. It really is. The last thing in the world that I ever wanted to have to do is to return this. Now, unlike my other releases that actually had cre uh, creases where the crystal was, this one has a tear on it. And I tried touching it up as best as I could, but I'm not happy with it, so it is definitely going back. There's no way I could live with it. Now, as for the movie itself, uh, I think it's an <laughs> such an incredible movie. Directed by Ron Howard, and it's probably my favourite movie by Ron Howard. And the cast that he assembled for this movie is quite staggering. You got Tom Hanks, Kevin Bacon, Bill Paxton, Ed Harris... Gary Sinise, Kathleen Quinlan, just to name a few. An absolute stellar, stellar cast. As a matter of fact, I was actually just reading up about it, and the amount of actors that actually turned down this movie is frightening. I think Bill, uh, sorry, um, Brad Pitt was offered a role in this. I think it was Tom Hanks' role, and he turned it down. I think John Cusack also turned down a part in this. So there was a few actors that uh, said no to it, and I honestly don't know why, because... It is such a beautiful movie, and uh, if you haven't checked it out, trust me, just for the cast alone, it is worth checking out. But it is beautifully directed by Ron Howard as well. Now, in terms of special features, you are well covered as well with this release. There is four featurettes, I think it's around four. Uh, you get a making of Apollo 13 in there as well, and of course you got some uh, audio commentaries as well. And the 4K transfer on this one looks great, it really does. But bear in mind folks, think about the movie that you are watching here. It doesn't necessarily lend well to 4K, but you are definitely going to notice the uptick in resolution, it is quite evident. Textually speaking, the movie looks absolutely incredible. There's one scene that really stood out for me, is when things get really cold and you start seeing those ice crystals, you can really make them out. The fine detail on them is absolutely incredible. And then when you throw in them HDR colours, it looks absolutely beautiful, it really does. But again, like I said, just think about the movie you're watching uh, and don't be expecting a truly jaw-dropping 4K uh, picture on this one. But I think if you're, if you're a fan of it and you're well aware of this movie, I think you're going to be so happy to see how beautiful it actually looks on 4K. Right, folks, so I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to take you around this release. I'm going to show you everything that's inside this one. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Right, so here we go, Apollo 13. So just like my previous video, 2001, I'm not going to spend too much time because as you can see, uh, the light does reflect badly off the clear slip and I want to be able to show you the artwork properly. So uh, I promise you I will come back to it now in a second. So uh, I'll take you onto the spine. And as you can see, this is volume eight. And then when you flip it around to the opposite side, it's the exact same. And yes, those ratings down the bottom are part of the slip cover. And then right around to the back, and it basically shows you everything that you get inside it, and there is quite a bit there to be seen. And uh, I'll just take you in closely and let's just have a look at the special features and some of the technical aspects as well. So there you go, folks. That is the entire slipcover. So I'm going to remove it, and let's just have a proper look at this artwork. And it is breathtaking. Now, having said that, it is probably one of my least favourite artworks, but take nothing away from it. It still looks absolutely beautiful. So you got Earth there right in the middle. You got the capsule itself. Of course, you got the moon there as well. But when you take it in close, you'll see kind of sort of a bit of blueprints there as well. Very, very nice. It is, like I said, it is my least favourite, but take nothing away from it. It's still very, very unique. And whoever does the concept artwork for these releases have done an absolute stellar job in them. So, right, that is the main artwork, and as you can see, it continues onto the spines. And I'll show you the other spine there in a second. There we go. And then, as per usual, at the back, you get a scene from the movie itself. Of course, you have Tom Hanks. You got the credits there on the bottom. Now, I said it in a previous video, I wouldn't mind seeing maybe the original artwork uh, on the backs of these boxes, so you can actually display it whatever way you want. But uh, it's still, still quite nice to see a scene from the movie. And then, as per usual, they are magnetically sealed, like every other release. So I will open it up, 
and I'm sure there's going to be a quote from the movie. And yes, there is. And of course, it is Houston. We uh, we have a problem. And then, of course, you've got the uh, the capsule itself. And as you can see, you can sort of see kind of smoke billowing billowing out the back of it. So uh, that's nice. And then, of course, you've got the envelope there. I'll show you that now in a second. So I'm going to just quickly remove that. And I'm going to show you the damage here. And as you can see, look at it. There's actually two tears right here. And I tried touching it up, but it, it doesn't look good. So uh, as a matter of fact, I've just noticed here, there's actually a crease over here as well. It is just simply not good enough. And uh, yes, that's why I'm going to be returning it. So uh, yeah, that is the the discs and the crystal. I'll come back to that now in a second. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you the envelope here. So as you can see, it is the Apollo 13 flight plan. Uh, flight plan. And of course, you've got that kind of coffee mug stain, which is a nice touch. And there's actually... You can actually make it out there. There is a nice bit of spot glossing to it as well. So uh, if you do, I'm not going to read out everything there. If you do want to pause it, by all means, do so. But there's nothing on the spines of it or the tops of bottoms or no, nothing like that. So uh, I'm going to turn around to the back. Of course, you're going to get another quote. And it says, God damn it, I don't want another estimate. I want the procedures now. And uh, that's all. Every bit of writing on the back here has a nice bit of spot glossing to it. Right, so that is the envelope. Let's open it up and see what's inside. So the first thing you will notice here is a guest card that you have. As you can see, guest, John F. Kennedy Space Center. And then when you take it around to the back, uh, the back of it, there you go. So again, if you want to pause that and give it a good read, by all means do so. I can't quite make out the signature there. It's probably Tom Hanks's character. So uh, yeah, that's the card, the guest card. So... Another thing you get here as well is the poster, and it does come in that strong paper that I love. You see it on a lot of Arrow uh, video releases. So as you can see, this is the original artwork for Apollo 13. It was great to see them feature that in this box set. But then when you turn it around, you also get the newly commissioned artwork as well. So uh, yes, quite beautiful. I love that paper, and I would love to see more of it in the future. So there we go. That is the simple little poster. Then you've also got a couple of character cards here. Now, when you actually turn them around, uh, there'll be a quote from the character himself. Uh, just like every other film vault release. So you've got Bill Paxton there. Uh, my God, what a talent he is. Uh, was, sorry. Uh, he is sadly missed. And then you've got uh, Kevin Bacon. I haven't seen Kevin Bacon in a while now as well. Uh, I honestly can't even remember the last movie I've seen him in. Uh, and that's a quote from him. Then, of course, you got Ed Harris. Uh, I only just watched um, Needful Things on 4K, and he is quite brilliant in that movie as well. Actually, I might be reviewing that movie. And, of course, then you've got the great Gary Sinise. And that's a quote from him and from the movie itself. So there we go, folks. A couple of character cards. And then that brings us on to these bigger versions you have here. And uh, when you actually look at these, you know, you got a behind the scenes still there. And then it gives you kind of a write up as well. So that's the first one. Then you've got one there from the NASA Space, uh, Space Center. And again, this should give you a bit of a write up there. You got a few behind the scenes stills there as well. And you got another great behind the scenes shot here Ron Howard and Tom Hanks. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? And then, of course, uh, you got another bit of a write-up there. But again, if you do want to pause it and check it out, I'll give it a read. By all means, do so. And uh, every one of these have a lovely high-gloss finish to them as well. They feel very deluxe. And, of course, you got another uh, poster artwork for Apollo 13. And then this one, the back of it, I think it gives you a couple of fun facts. You know, the cast, what I kind of done in the box office, all that kind of stuff. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything that's inside... Uh, the envelope so I'm gonna bring back the box in let's get a look at the discs themselves and then we'll make our way on to the crystal so here we go look at this not great master alarm Apollo 13 you even got the little screws there it actually kind of reminds me if you actually watch my video for um 2001 they have hal on this on the disc and it looks very very similar so uh yeah thought this was quite nice so uh, there's nothing on the spines of it uh not on top of the bottom and then, of course, at the back of it, it is the three characters, the three men that was actually in the capsule. You got the American flag there as well. So that was a nice touch to put that in the back. 
and then open it up and you're going to have two stills from the movie you got Tom Hanks's family there on the left and of course the three boys in the capsule and then I like the next one here the next picture here it's one picture combined it is of course the space center which is lovely and then when you open it up uh, now the good thing is I don't have to take the discs out because the pictures that are behind the discs are basically the same thing so you got Kevin Bacon you've got Tom Hanks of course you got Bill Paxton on the end uh, the end there as well and then of course on the other end you have to have another quote from the movie itself so there you go folks that is the actual discs themselves so uh, I'm gonna put that to a side bring in the box one last time and finally show the crystal and let's do it right now right here we go and as you can see mine is limited to uh, is what I've got 502 of 3500 so I'm almost certain the 2001 release had was limited to 6000 so this one is definitely a lot more rarer and as of course of course you got the capsule there kind of etched into the crystal as well so I've said it numerous times I love the way this is done it gives you that unique number it's just a shame it causes so much damage so there you have it folks that is everything inside this beautiful beautiful edition of P Apollo 13 it's a shame I had the damage on it but look I have it I was able to do a video on it and I'm happy I done it right folks so there you have it that is Apollo 13 and what a beautiful release that is now seeming that this is the last release of the year from Film Vault I just wanted to quickly talk about what I would love to see from them next year and the one thing I really do hope they address is the crystal they must be well aware of the amount of trouble it's causing now and uh, they have no excuse now they have to fix that and that's the horrible thing about it is it's a very simple fix and I really do hope they address it next year now another thing I would love to see is give us a new 4k title now I don't think it will happen but I would love to see a release where you know it was a, a movie that never got a 4k release before uh, even though I can't see that happening but you never know fingers crossed it might happen but I would also love to see a big horror title now I wouldn't be one bit surprised and I'm gonna put I would put money on this as a matter of fact uh, I would be one bit surprised to see The Exorcist coming out next year apparently it's sold incredibly well on a standard release and it's steelbook edition and I wouldn't be one bit surprised if Warner Brothers revisit that movie and uh, put it onto the film vault label but another thing that I desperately don't want to see from them even though they've done it once already don't give us one movie from a franchise now they've done it with Jaws but I'm willing to forgive it because it is Jaws but don't give us another you know Tim Burton Batman movie or the Matrix you know or a Harry Potter movie because Warner Brothers are they do that a lot you know they revisit a lot of uh, these franchises on particularly on 4k look at Harry Potter for a great example how many releases have that movie gotten on 4k and I'm worried that they're going to give us one the first movie on the film vault range I hope it doesn't happen fingers crossed it doesn't so there you have it folks that's what I would like to see and what I wouldn't like to see next year from them and I'm I'm genuinely excited I'm hooked onto this label now they look absolutely beautiful when you see them sitting on your shelf and uh, looking forward to seeing what they're going to come out with next year so there you have it folks so as usual if you like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this release of Apollo 13 and what did you think of the movie itself and yes I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then I'll see you soon bye bye